So we've been asked to solve the triangle A equals 42 degrees, side A is 12 meters, side B is 15 meters. The first thing we need to do here is draw a picture. So I draw a triangle and I'll label this side, this angle A, angle B, and angle C. Angle A is 42 degrees, side A is across from that is 12 meters, angle B is unknown, side B is 15 meters, and side C and angle C are unknown. We've been asked to solve this triangle and immediately I know that I know two sides and I know the angle that is not between them. And this makes a side-side angle triangle. This is the ambiguous case. Whenever you come to the ambiguous case, the first thing you should always do is draw side H, which is an imaginary vertical line that tells us the height of the triangle. And then I'm going to cover this up and basically I have a right triangle and I want to find side H. So to do that I write an equation. Um, if you look at this triangle, 42 degrees, this would be the opposite this would be the hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse will be a sine equation. So sine of 42 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? Now solve this for H. Simply multiply by 15. So 15 times sine of 42 equals H. And if I multiply that 15 times sine of 42, I get H equals 10.04. Now, you're always going to want to compare H to the side across from the known angle. Okay? And you have three possibilities. This side can be less than H. That means there's no triangle possible. This side can be equal to H, which means it's a right triangle. Or in our case, this side is greater than H. And when it's greater than H, then you have to ask another question. If this side is greater than H, but less than that side, two triangles are formed. If this side is greater than H and greater than this side, then only one triangle is formed. So in our case, we have what? Two triangles. Yay! <clears throat> so. I'm going to divide my paper into two pieces and on one side of that paper I'm going to have my original drawing and this will be 15, this will be 12, this will be 42 and on this side I'm going to have the exact same triangle except angle B will be acute in one triangle and obtuse in the other. This will still be 42 degrees, this will still be 15 meters, and this will still be 12 meters. Okay? So first we're going to work on this triangle, our acute triangle. And of course this is a law of sines equation, so we need to write the law of sines. So we have a over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. Now, we need to take what we know from our triangle and see what else we can find. Uh, I know angle A, I know side A, and I know side B. So given those knowns, the first thing I need to try to solve for is angle B because if I use that equation, I have three, un three knowns and one unknown. So I want to solve for sine B and actually what I want to solve for is angle B. So to do this, I plug in our numbers here and I'm going to flip this equation. Remember we talked in class, you can take this equation and put the angles on top. So I'm going to say sine of B over and side B was 15 and then sine of A, angle A was 42 and side A was 12. And now if I take that information and I multiply, I get sine of B equals 
15 times sine of 42 divided by the sine, divided by 12. Okay? And if I multiply all of that out, I'm going to get sine of B equals 0.8364. And of course, now I don't want sine B. I want B. So I want to get rid of sine. I do that by taking the inverse sine of both sides. And the inverse sine of 0.8364 gives me 56.76 degrees. So now I have found angle B. Okay? So I go back up to my picture and I can add that to my picture if I want to. This will be 56.76 degrees. Okay? And uh, I look at my triangle and I say, well, I know angle A. I know angle B, and I know that angle A, B, and C have to add up to 180. So how do I find angle C? Well, C is just going to be 180 minus angle A minus angle B. And that gives me angle C equal to 81 point twenty four degrees okay and then I go back up to my original equation now I know angle B now I know angle C the only thing left is side C and because I was given A and angle A in the problem I'm gonna use this equation to solve for side C Okay, so I come down and I have, write my equation, I have C over sine of 81.24 equals 12 over sine of 42. And if I multiply that, I will get C equals 12 times sine of 81.24 divided by sine of 42. And if I plug all of that into my calculator, I will get C equals 17.72 meters. Okay? Now, I have all of the answers for this triangle. Okay? Angle C is 81.24 degrees and side C is 17.72 meters. Okay? So now, given that information, what changes when I go to this triangle? Well, these three things can't change because they were given in the problem. S angle C looks like it should get smaller, which should make side C smaller. And angle B looks like it gets bigger. Okay? So where do we start? Well, the first mistake that a lot of people make is they will plug these numbers into this formula. This formula gave us these answers here, here, and here. That formula is going to give us the same answers again. You cannot use that to find the answers over here just yet. What you need to do is remember that sine of an angle can be positive in quadrants 1 or 2. An acute angle would be in quadrant 1. There's my quadrant 1 answer. And this obtuse angle here will be in quadrant 2. So, you go down here where you found B. B was 56.76 degrees. And you have to remember that your calculator actually gave you a reference angle here. Because it's acute, 